So we don't just do BMWs, as a lot of people believe. We've got an Audi RS6 in today. This is in for ECU tuning. So flash through the port, it will see standard cars about 550. This should be about 650 now. Um, done a few of these over the number of years with mapping cars, so they do perform very well. And it was also in for Remus catback non-rest system. Amazing system. Put it in comfort mode. Close the valves. Sounds dead quiet. Real usable. Open the valves up. Sounds phenomenal. I know Jay's going to do a bit of video. Have some drive-bys. We were lucky enough to uh, the customer let us just do some uh, North 16 some runs to make the better video for you guys. So on that note, Jay, show us some video. If anybody's met Nick before, he's old school and he coughs a lot. Old school people know what I mean by that. Right, today we had the RS6 in this morning. Um, did the Remus exhaust on it. They sound phenomenal. What a difference a cat back can do. Valves closed, obviously very sort of comfortable, usable. Valves open, different monster. I know Jay's already gonna put some footage in or maybe he's done it. I'm sure he's probably already done it. Today we've got a G1 series, these are the X3, three litre diesel. Um, these are popular, if anybody follows TRL, I put a little thing on there, TRL deals, we do a lot with from Berry BMW. His Instagram is now full of these rather than M140s. So we're going to be seeing a few more of these in the door. Today this one's in for IVAC springs and spacers. Uh, this will drop the car about 25mm, um, we'll run a 15mm space with around onto it, so it is going to be really nice. I've got a funny feeling these are going to be popular. And the fact that BMW just launched the new X3M and X3M competition, of course with the X4s as well. Oh, I quite like it. Now, Jay, guy behind the camera, man, brought, brought it in. The first thing he said is blown away by the interior and the spec and the toys and stuff like that. So we will actually try and maybe add a little bit of that to the, you know, the panning B shots, B roll shots. It's not the full take of the phone, mate, and everything else. But anyway, that's Nick, everybody. So on that note, subscribe and like. Subscribe. No, it's a bit early for that. <laughs> He's old school. He is old school, yeah. <laughs> Nick doesn't watch YouTube. Sorry. Nick's still got yellow he pages. <laughs> Send him a fax. On that note, let's <laughs> let him crack on. Now he's got coffee.
been filming is a standard exhaust on the car. It's not a bad bore size, it's quite big, um, but it's pretty average. So it's basically, if you to line a 235 IOP system, they're pretty much identical, just an extra tail pipe. So the original exhaust has one valve on the left hand side, Remus runs twin, so it picks up the other side. So when the valves are open, it acts a complete straight through and removes this rear box. And this closed goes back into the rear box, so it's quite a good system. We will be doing lots of videos on this, lots of drive-bys, doing some 0 to 60s, doing some revs, so you'll get a lot of video content on that. We've gone for the chrome tail pipe. Um, we do a lot of carbon, we do a lot of the gloss black and carbon, but I want to do the chrome. I'm a big fan of carbon fibre and then a chrome tail pipe. I had like I said, a V8 M3 or a white one a couple of years ago and I did the chrome and carbon onto that. I think it looked quite good. With this car, because it's not a competition pack, I didn't necessarily want the black tail pipes. If I had a black car, then I'd probably have done that, but I quite like the idea of chrome on a, on a white car. So comment down below if I picked the right tail pipe or not.